Good morning. All right, we are moving on to NF7, and we're going to be talking lots about decimals. Fractions decimals, decimals, why they matter, where zeros can go in decimals. So I would like for you to open up to the first page of NF7. It actually says page 17 down here, um, but that is page one of NF7. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is talk about where zeros can go on decimals. We've talked a little bit about this on uh, comparing fractions or decimals, but if you get a decimal here, and we see that we have 52 hundredths, zero whole numbers, and then we have a decimal and then a 52. Do you notice how there are two decimal places after the decimal. That means that this number goes to the hundredths place. But if we look over here, we are only to the tenths place. This is zero whole numbers, and then six is only to the tenths place. In order to compare two of two decimals, we need to have them being compared to the same thing. I can't compare this one in the hundredths to this one in the tenths without thinking about making them the same. So this is the easiest way to do this. If you have a number that's in the hundredths place and you're comparing it to a number that only goes to the tenths place, it's very simple because we know that six tenths is the same as 60 hundredths. So, do I have two decimal places? Yes. Do I have two decimal places? Yes. Now, it's very simple to compare. Which one is larger, 52 cents or 60 cents? Well, that's easy. 60 cents is larger, so I'm going to put my greater than sign, and I'm going to fill this in, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I'm going to fill that in. Okay, so I've got 52 hundredths there, and then I'm going to color in 60 hundredths, which is the same as 6 tenths. I'm going to color that in here. Okay, so the main thing that you need to remember on these is to make sure that you're comparing, we call it apples to apples, the same to the same, a hundredths place to a hundredths place. Now, here on number two, we have 87 hundredths. Okay, that's to the hundredths place. We have 78 hundredths. That's also to the hundredths place. So we don't need to add any zeros to them. We can just compare them. Okay, how about this one? So answer that question. What about this one? I have 40 hundredths and I have four tenths. Well, I need to compare apples to apples, the same to the same. So if I have 40 here, I can add a zero at the end because I'm multiplying by 10 and now I have 40 hundredths and 40 hundredths. Okay, those are what? Equal. Get it? Okay. Now, these two, 19 hundredths, 22 hundredths. Okay, they're both hundredths, so you can compare them. Uh-oh, what about this one? 8 tenths and 42 hundredths. Is that apples to apples? Nope, that's not apples to apples. That's apples to oranges. Two different things. So in order for me to make them apples to apples, I need to add a what? A zero. I have to make this one into the hundredths. So now I have 80 hundredths 
and 42 hundredths. Okay, how about this one? This one is tricky. Okay, this is nine hundredths, and this is nine tenths. So what am I going to do to this one? I've got to make it a, now I want you to look at those ones. The placement of the zero is very important. Do you see how the zero comes before the nine? That tells me that it is less than 10 cents. Remember this first spot is like a dime. This is like nine pennies. This one, the nine is first. So this is like nine dimes. That's 90 cents. Would you rather have nine pennies or nine dimes? Nine pennies is only going to look like this. That's nine pennies. But what are nine dimes going to look like? Nine dimes is going to look like that. That's very different. So you have to be careful. Is this, where is the zero? If the zero is at the end, it's just telling me out of 100. If the zero's before, it's telling me how many dimes I have. All right, go to page, finish up that page. I didn't do all the problems with you, but you can do those. All right, and now you're going to go to page 18. And again, on this page, you're going to put the numbers on the on the desk or on the number line, and then you're going to see which one is larger. So I'm looking for 85 hundredths, which is the same as, here's 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 would be right there, okay? And this one is 45, so that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 5 would be right there. So which one is larger? Well, the 85. So I'm going to put that there. Now remember, if you're not comparing apples to apples, you must change it. Okay, here is 38 hundredths. Well, this is not in hundredths. So I need to make it in hundredths by putting a zero, it's equivalent to it. So now I'm comparing 38 hundredths and 30 hundredths. And I can still put them on a number line with tenths because 38 is three dimes and eight pennies. So one dime, two dimes, three dimes, I don't have four dimes, I have 38, which would be about right there. Okay. And then the next one I have 30, 30 cents. So 10, 20, 30 would be about right there. So which one is larger? Well, 38. So go through. What are you gonna change this one into? I have to compare apples to apples. 26 hundredths, two dimes, six pennies, eight dimes, and how many pennies? Zero pennies. Now I can do it. All right, my friends. Oh, look. Look at this. You get a freebie. Number seven gives you a freebie. Uh, look, 70 hundredths equals 70 hundredths. Just put it on the number line. 
All right, my friends, today's assignment, page 17 and 18. You've got this. Bye.